well, <laughs> loving it is still pushing it, but I <laughs> but I did appreciate it. <laughs> I know I'm only ragging on you. Look, um, Exodus Believer is going straight on video on demand in time for Halloween. I mean, they've they flushed their own film down the drain. I'm in, on one hand shocked that they've done this because I I was thinking that maybe they'd keep it in theaters as long as possible to try to make as much money as possible. But on the other, I'm like, no, they probably just want out of theater so they can, sh- you know, get around to rebooting their investment into something. Yeah, that the thing, though, we make more money. This thing did 30 million in its opening weekend in the U.S. alone. Uh, if you disregard how much money they flushed down the drain it's not on bad, rights it's not and everything, bad. this is actually really good numbers. They should be very happy with that box office. I know. What they're doing is that they are basically now just killing a successful movie. Because and this so movie, it's, it's by cold. any external metric, is successful. The only thing that prevents it from being so is the insane cost behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, four hundred odd million dollars into it. Like, yeah, 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 I know, but like, no Exorcist movie can possibly be expected to open to any more than this. I'm surprised no. it opened to as much as thirty million. Well, for, forty-five million worldwide as well. So if they kept it in theaters, uh, even better. Longer, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, look. If if you remove it from that four hundred million dollar investment, it's pretty bloody good, you know. It like it's still it hasn't broken even yet, but it would it would have broken even, I think. Maybe I think the main problem is is the Eras tour from Taylor Swift comes out this weekend tomorrow, yes. and Today. so from there onwards, it's kind of dead. But if they kept it in for Halloween, I think people probably would have just gone to see it out of morbid pun intended curiosity. Um. And then maybe it would have reached its break-even point. But they've absolutely destroyed it now. Yeah. It's done. Yeah. Super well, weird. They got they got freaked out because of the Eras Tour, so they moved it forward a week <clears throat> or so. Mm. And then Eras Tour is opening today, actually, here in the States. And so if you want to see a preview of that, go to town. Um, and the Eras Tour is going to make every blockbuster this year look weak and sad. But... <clears throat> They should have left it in for Halloween. If anything, they should have pushed it back. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or, and, and opened it like you know, a several like maybe like midweek, next week sometime, and pushed through Halloween. But no, yeah, they got bit, they no. got big scared over over. But they over. brought it forward. What a weird decision to make. You know they, what that, this tells me? Forward. This tells me that they're that they're already done with it. They're not making the sequel. This is a one mm. and done deal. And the trilogy plans, which turned into <clears throat> duology plans, is now this is your the one movie, and it's done. They'll never continue continue this franchise. We'll never see these particular characters again. Nah. We don't know Earth what Reagan has been up to. We do know that the mother is blind for no reason. Well, actually, I know there's no reason to it, because that would have been paid off in the sequel that we're never getting now. Hmm. So yeah. Oh, yeah. It was pointless. It was just unnecessary, cruel, and pointless because now we do not get the payoff that was obviously coming. Well, I don't think it would have been satisfactory as a payoff anyway. But you know, I don't think it would have been very satisfactory. But I can see where they were going with it <laughs> because this is kind. Of, this is kind of like a trope. And I didn't love it like blind you, woman really. that has supernatural <laughs> abilities and the ability to see. She can't see like regular stuff, but can she can see other stuff. And is that oh, she's going to be a superhero force against uh, against evil? I mean, she's going to be um, this... super super exorcist. Yeah, well, I don't know that she would have been a super exorcist, but she might have been a super advisor or something. Power like of the that. regime. I, I the mean, regime even, in, even in Clive Barker stories of Harry Damour, you have this like one of his allies is his old blind woman. You have it like in mm. Deadpool. And everything. It's a trope. This is obviously what they were setting up here, and it yeah. was. Like the way it was done, it was not a random thing. It was going to be paid off, but now I don't think that payoff is ever going to come. Well, I think I think let's let's do a caveat with that. Paid off unsatisfactory. It wouldn't have been a good payoff, by the way, ladies and gents. I've got to I've got to say that from the off. I think it would be yeah, that could be that could be. I'm I'm telling you right now, if if somebody were to say that line in a film, the power of Vagine compels you. I think that would be a winner right there. 
It's um, I'm actually a Hollywood writer in my uh, spare time. Okay, well, if you could write that down, oh, I, I've just I put it out there in, into the ether. The power okay. of Virginia compels you. There you go. I want that, that line. Me, anyway. I want that line. Well, anyway, I thought this was I thought this would just be a bit of a funny a funny side topic. To be honest, it's fascinating because it, this this is I can't think of any any more sort of studio investments that are that stupid by comparison to this do we th- do we know of any other studio investments that are as bad as this 400 million dollars plus the you know investment of the movie production budget and marketing budget D- what comes know? to mind the superman movie that they were trying to do all over the 90s and the production budget for all of it was tacked on to superman returns <clears throat> so that they that had a budget of more than 200 million and half of it was spent on making the movie. The rest was just the previous movies that Jesus. never happened. This is the that's the only thing that comes to mind. Yeah, yeah, I can see, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. As bit, yeah. Well, yeah, I get, yeah, that sort of timeline versus now monetary inflation, etc. Yeah, probably. You're probably right there, to be honest. Or Rings of Power, two hundred fifty million dollars on the rights to the appendices. Studio, I mean. This studio, Universal and Blumhouse, bought four hundred million dollars. Bought the rights to make three movies, but not the rights to any of the actual sort of universe. Only the rights to the first one, or something like that. So I guess that almost on par with Amazon Prime's dumbass, where they bought you know the appendices of, of Rings, you know Lord of the Rings for two hundred fifty million dollars. That's that's pretty close, I think, isn't it? Rings. Well, I'd consider yeah, this. The, 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 I think I think Rings of Power was a worse deal because they mm. have they have to produce the material. They don't have a choice, and so yeah. you know True. you're looking at a billion dollars in waste for for them rather than you know rather than mm. let's say a four hundred million dollar oopsie that they they literally could make two more films in the Exorcist universe or one more film in the Exorcist universe, and it could no, do all too. right. No, okay. No, too. It's, it's three Andre, movies. That well, Andre, the rights to make. Andre just suggested that Deceiver's gone. Yes, but they had they had the rights to make three movies. They right. made one. They can make two more. So I reckon Deceiver is done. I reckon they're just going to remake. They're just going to redo. Start from scratch again. Basically, is what they're going to do. But they can still make two more movies. They have the rights to make two more two more films. Yeah. I we'll have to see. I I really honestly hope that they uh, that they choose to make better things and they they don't mm. dive into the you know the, the modernity pull like this film did a little bit. So oh but. dear, oh dear. Ah uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, wow, well, well, funny times, fun, fun, funny times. <laughs>